Hey folks, it's Florida Deer. Today we're doing an off topic subject or video. I'm going to install this Kurt receiver hitch onto my wife's Ford Flex for our upcoming trip. And we're not actually going to be towing anything with it. We're actually going to be using the bike rack to get to the mountains, uh, to get our bikes to the mountains. And uh, the funny thing is she had asked me about a roof thing and I was like, well, I, we have the two roof rails, but we still need the part that goes across and we still need the part that the bike attaches to. And I thought that probably wasn't really cheaper than this. And then I thought I'll be one of those people that forgets the bikes are up there and go under some low clearance thing and take the bikes off. And, and even if everything went well, I was thinking I'll have to like climb up halfway on the roof to get our bikes all the time instead of just walk behind the vehicle and take them off the bike rack like we always do. So I just thought this was a better uh, solution. Uh, my wife is very wise, but you know, this I think is just, in this particular case is a better deal. And I think this was a little over 200 bucks from e-trailer. I have put one on my wife's flex before. She had a 09 Ford flex. This is a 2018 Ford flex. That one, unfortunately, uh, a couple years ago, came to a early end in a car accident. So she almost got the same exact Ford Flex and Ford really hasn't changed a whole lot in those uh, number of years, those nine years either. So, the, and I thought that was cool because we like the Ford Flex and anyways, so I will get started with this and we'll see what we can do to get it done. I think the time said 30 or 40 minutes. So let's see if I can do it in that time. All right, folks, step one is to breeze over these installation instructions. Like I said, they have an installation time of 40 minutes, so it says. Comes with, obviously, the receiver hitch. Made in the USA. It comes with four bolts, which are three quarter inch. And then four slightly concave washer, so I'll have to figure out exactly how those go on. I'm assuming they go on at the concave and up, but I'll consult the instructions to make sure. And I'm sorry about the papers. We have the fan on. It's Florida, it's 90 something degrees, so I gotta have some air circulation here. All right, I'll get started. Okay, so, Oops. There's probably two of the bolts that's on the driver's side that will have to come off. We may have to finagle the exhaust hook out. And on the passenger side, it looks like about the same thing that we're gonna have to do here, two bolts. And we'll hit some PV Blast or WD-40 onto that uh, exhaust hook and see what we can do to get those loosened. We'll go from there. Okay. Okay, so up here were the two bolts that held this. So this comes off. Now go back on with the new bolts. Same thing over here. Oops. Well, I left it up there, but then it fell down. Same thing. You can see the bolts right there, right there. The biggest pain in the butt so far was just slipping the uh, this end out of the rubber bushing so far. The rest of it's pretty easy. Move it along. I to get some gloves and some goggles just to protect myself against junk falling from the car. Try to keep the hands kind of clean. So the instructions had mentioned a 40 minute install time in their paperwork. Um, I would tell you that if I had done this job once before 
which actually technically I did, but it was just one exhaust uh, muffler and pipe and not two. And if I had air tools, I probably could have done the job in 10 minutes, I would say, maybe even quicker. And if you didn't have air tools, you could probably do it in 15 or 20. My total time here, including the video intro and then at the end as well, was less than 30 minutes, including the install time. So it really went very quickly. Basically, you just take those two brackets off with the two bolts. You slide the exhaust bushings out and you basically slide the receiver hitch up there on top of both mufflers and it does hang down a little bit. What I did was I got one bracket in without, or I got the bolts in to the receiver to the car without the bracket, went over to the passenger side because it was lined up on the driver's side I was able to slide in the bracket and the tr receiver hitch with the two bolts and then I just went back over to the driver's side took the two bolts out slid the bracket up there put the two bolts in and then you tighten the bolts up and slide the bushings back on the muffler and you're done it's really that simple a process Getting it aligned correctly was the most difficult process. And although my son was helpful, he wasn't, he's not as mechanically inclined, obviously, as I am, and not quite as strong when it comes up to lifting a receiver hitch. So um, the work he did was good and it was helpful. But if you had somebody else helping you with it that was maybe a little bit beefier, then you probably could get the job done quicker. So I think Kurt could probably adjust their installation time on that. It was actually that easy. And here's the rest of it. As you saw, that was the finished product. And this is what they look like now. They could have run the same one like they did like up through here so they were symmetrical since the exhaust is symmetrical this one was very similar to the non-dual exhaust one and I guess they just kept it that way or something I specifically got the dual exhaust one which I think all 2018s have the dual exhaust but the 2009 had the mufflers just on one side with two pipes sticking out these have a muffler on each side with one pipe sticking out each side but as you can see the bolts are right there and I don't know if you can see the one in the back but it's there and we stuck the catch for the exhaust back in there and then same <sighs> same thing on the other side bolt is too further forward you really can't see it and then we secure the muffler back in its bushing and then rated for 4,000 pounds 400 pound tongue weight certainly good enough for a couple bikes or four bikes thanks for watching hit the like button if you found this helpful Hit subscribe as well if you'd like. Bye.